Let's hit the DigiKey site. All right, Lady Ada, what, uh... Oh, so, um... What are we doing here? Okay, so, you know, we talked about how I want to use AAA batteries for this design, not uh, lithium polymer. And what's really nice about using alkaline or nickel metal hydride AAAs or AA's is that you can get off-the-shelf battery holders that are inexpensive, very durable, and easy to add to your design. They come in like all sorts of different arrangements. So let's start searching on the DigiKey site for uh, battery holders. And if, if you see in the Adafruit kits, you'll know that we use like 9-volt holders, AA holders, AAA holders of all, all sorts and sizes. Um, I just think they're really great, and uh, they're so much easier to use than um, lithium polymers. You can toss these batteries in your bag. You don't have to worry about them shorting out. You don't have to worry about, like, thermal, you know, management. They're, they're really solid and reliable. So let's search for battery holders. Now, there's actually going to be um, a couple different kinds. Um, you know, there's accessories and chargers, but, you know, you'll see here there's, there's you know, 1,700 items under battery hold clips and contacts. And when you go there, you'll see that a lot of them are actually coin cell holders. Like these are really, really common because even though I like alkaline battery holders, most people actually uh, who are, you know, assembling electronics, they tend to have battery coin holders. They have coin holders, not alkaline battery holders. And then they have maybe like a lithium polymer or DC power for the, for the primary power. Anyways, there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, coin cell holders. We're not looking for coin cells. We're looking for something like this, you know, something that has these springs and the clips for the batteries. So let's um, go to the top to only look at active designs. And um, we're going to only look for AAA battery. It looks like you can also get like, you know, quad A. There's all sorts of different types of batteries. There's half AA, there's, you know, the coin cells of every type. There's um, 18650, so it's like a Panasonic um, lithium ion battery holder size. So you can, you know, you can get like a wide range of different types of um, battery connectors, but I'm going to look for AAA. Okay, so under AAA, um, you can now get, you know, there's the single one-offs. There's ones with wires. Um, I want something like this. You know, I like to look at the photos to get a sense. This is, I want something like this. I want something with PC pins that can go through the PCB and solder in place. Another design that's kind of nice is this. It's, a, it's four pins, but it looks like you can kind of arrange the, you know, the polarity of the battery holder. Uh, you know, there's a couple different versions. This one has a difference of a spring that's like a coiled spring. It has like a leaf spring. So let's go and look for two cell because it's two AAA batteries to give me about 2.5 volts. And you have a couple different mounting types. That's another thing to watch for. So on uh, some kits that we've done, we use wires. These are kind of nice because the wires are tinned. Uh, you can solder them in, and this is good if, if the holder is going to be a little bit apart from the PCB or maybe mounts on the chassis in a different way. And there's mounting holes. There's the PC pin. Um, there's another version with wires. I'll show you a couple of interesting. There's also like components. So if you're 3D printing a design and you want to really have it be low cost and you want the battery to be part of the 3D print or injection molded design, you get just the spring contacts, which is kind of neat. Like these are just the contact pieces that you would um, put into your design and then have the batteries press against them to hold them in. You can get them with looks like a some kind of like Molex connector on the end. These are some like pretty sweet um, metal keystone connectors. I've used these once in a while. Um, they're extremely durable. Um, like it's one, really hard to get the battery out once it's in. And even though it's all metal, um, you can see that there's uh, these washers that keep it isolated. So it's, even though it's all metal, it, it is electrically isolated. This is also an interesting type that I've used before. This is the slimmest battery holder. So if you're like, I need to have it be the smallest amount of space without like the extra plastic, these end-to-end -end ones uh, work really well. Uh, here's another one with a connector. Okay, there's also ones that are enclosed. Um, if you've seen, like I think our TV Gone kit, it has a battery like this. So this battery holder, um, you know, there's a, a slide clip 
that goes over it and protects it. So it's a little packet. Uh, and a lot of our projects with a Circuit Playground Express will have a, a connector like this. Um, that's kind of it. There's a couple different variants. You know, you can get ones that are open and closed. Um, more that have like a little slide connector. You know, this one has gold tabs. But um, what we really want is PC pin because we want it to solder into the circuit board. Um, and there's a couple different options. So um, you can sort by price. And you'll notice that there's pretty much like two suppliers that are really common, Keystone and MPD. And they make pretty much the same things for the most part. Like if you can find it one with MPD, you can usually find it an equivalent one with Keystone. So for example, um, this one's a little bit less expensive. It's you know $1.22 per in individual quantity. Um, but it's basically the same as this one. So I like to have alternates, especially for connectors, because I've noticed that uh, things like this happen. You, you want to get the connector and it's like suddenly out of stock and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm, am I screwed? If you have an alternate, it's not a big deal. Um, so as you're specking out battery holders, try to have like two or three different options from different suppliers and then when you um, get samples make sure they all fit in your design that way you can switch between the you know the mall because unlike uh, components the mechanical outlines and like the mounting pads and the holes may vary a little bit so you just want to make sure that you can uh, like this one has the two mounting holes in the center and this one has them on you know opposite sides so you may, may want to have extra holes so you can support either version um, this is another nice thing that you might want. Uh, these versions have a little red, like a book mark. It's a ribbon that you put underneath the batteries and then when you pull the ribbon, it, it pops the batteries out. I ended up not needing something like that. I went, I basically just went with this uh, Keystone design. Um, it's very inexpensive. You'll see once you get to like the 500 or, you know, a thousand quantity, you're gonna get like a pretty good price, you know, under 75 cents a piece, which is, you know, great and easy, and um, they're really easy to work with as well. So here's the battery holder. Let's, let's uh, now pop back to the overhead. So this is the battery holder. So this is uh, this is the one from Keystone. You can easily pop in the batteries, and then on my design, um, you just have the two large pads. Let me turn this off you can slide the battery in and I'll just kind of hold it up against and turn this on and now it's a portable badge. Cool. Nice. All right, and that's All right. the great search.